Want to talk about the water bottle throws today? This is an implement that we use to kind of have external feel focus. All it is is a normal water bottle, any water bottle that you get from the store. We fill it up about a quarter of the way. We super glue the cap on and then duct tape it on top. Important how to hold it correctly. We don't want to hold it like a hammer. We want to hold it like a baseball. So we kind of rest the bottom of it on our ring finger and we grab it like a fastball. So now that you've got a nice water bottle and you're holding it correctly, what we really try to think about is an external focus cue for the athlete to try to drive arm pattern and to feel kind of that sloshing layback. And the cue that we give, we want to kind of get it like we're pouring the water out slightly, not like dumping it straight out. Cause obviously that puts us our arm in a not very good position. So when I go to hand break, I'm just trying to think about slightly below parallel where the water is falling out. And then the next cue, as we go into glove tuck, we talk about pouring this down our back shoulder. So we talk about pouring that down our shoulder. And you'll notice that puts our arm in a pretty safe position inside 90, which is what we talk about a lot. So pour it out, pour it down our back, stay inside 90. And then when we go to throw, we want it end over end. Um, and so what we're really trying to feel is keeping the water at the bottom of the nozzle without dumping it upside down. So we'll go here nice and slow, pour it down the back, and then go straight forward. And that is just one of our drills that we can kind of implement into making a different feel in the hand. And it's pretty fun for the athletes, especially the younger ones, to feel the sloshing of the water and to really understand what layback means in a different context.